Hello, everybody. <coughs> this is me here for Stephen Talk tonight. There's a bit of trouble last Saturday night with my brother Martin. I shouldn't even call him brother a scumbag. We we don't call him Maggie for short for Martin. Maggie. Maggie up. But draw Maggie, I want to fight you. And I want, you're backbiting me down there the other day, and I want to get back to you about it. And as well, along with that, what names did I call your children? The only thing I missed was, I was looking for a photograph of your woman's wedding. That's all I was looking for. I went over nothing else. And I said that for spite because you know why? Because he he ever caught the end of He went down to Clare before. To some holy well down there. He went down there cursing me one day. You, John Paul, and Mayor Lisa, and Lisa went down one day. You like candles. Ever since he lighted them candles, he never had no luck. But I laid that for another day's work. But. There's one thing I would say. He gave Maggie a few bangs the night, Maggie. Martin has got Maggie. Fair play to you. And Dad did on that. But you know why? Because she's looking for it. And that's not to do with me. I wouldn't take up for Maggie. And there's another thing I would tell you, though. But you know the few bangs you hit me father? You were not getting away with it. And I mean that in my heart. You're not getting away with that. If I were you, Jack up and Lamb Dublin, I know now you have no care, you have nothing, you're a tramp now. Well, Jack up and Lamb Dublin, if I were you, I couldn't mind yourself. And another thing to tell you as well, Lisa, you give Sabrina a few staffs to the day and call the young whores. You cannot call no one no whores because you're a whore yourself. You dirty thing, yeah. The cheek of you, you dirty thing, yeah. And another thing to tell people as well. You've done an awful lot of backbiting in John Paul's house the other night. You talked about, I'll tell you now, three or four uncles of mine. Now, you want to straighten your stories out. You want to straighten your stories out because I tell you, you know what I'm not told about you. What I heard, I'm going to tell about you. So, at 5 G. Jack up and leave Dublin. Because you know why? There's another story to come out as well, a couple of more. There's not only one, there's a couple. Of. And I'm not afraid of no one in Smithfield or, or any surrounding that area. I am the boss of Smithfield Shite. I am the boss of Smithfield Shite. And as well, when you made a phone call the other night to a certain person, why didn't you tell the right story as well? Don't be telling the wrong story. Because when that phone call was ended, what did you say at the end of the phone call? When the phone call was over and the phone call was dropped down? What did you say, Lisa? If Merton gets the beating of one of his own people, he might never look at them again. Well, if you want to go to clear, go down the way you come up in peace. And off with you now, adios amigos.